Hi, I'm Red Coco Sparkle and welcome to my channel's first video. Tag along with me today as we unbox my makeup and skincare haul. Right off the bat, we have this huge bag of fluff. The quality of this faux fur rug is unbelievable. I seriously had to double check to make sure it was faux because it was so soft and thick. I could have spent the entire video petting it, but we have more to open. Next up, we have a freestanding lighted mirror. I wanted something that was portable and backlit because one, I already have several mirrors, and two, I have my room positioned in a way that I don't want to permanently block off part by having a giant mirror in front of my desk. I'm also hoping it will kind of replace a ring light, at least for when I'm just trying to do my daily makeup stuff. Moving on, we have a rose quartz face roller set by Hana and Me. I'm forever messing with my face, and I'm hoping this will help my skin forgive me for that. Inside it has a roller, a scrubber, and a gua sha tool. I apologize if I mispronounced that. Unfortunately, of the seven languages or dialects spoken in China, I speak exactly zero, and Google won't specify which it derives from. For these four little packages, I'm not really going to bother opening them all the way, as three of the four are see-through packages. I will show you them, however, as they are part of the haul. I have two sets of very dramatic lashes, a peel-off face mask, and some clips. The peel-off mask wasn't cooperating, so I had to go find something to open it with off-camera. You'll see it in the final cut, though. Here, we're going to go ahead and forward to the next day, because I realized Diamond Lightning was too terrible to keep filming, so I called it a night and restarted in the morning. Clearly, I started too early because I forgot to hit record, and now the only ones who saw the process are me and the never-ending stack of boxes that mock my soul. So, here's the open product of my UV light for setting my nails and a new set of gel polishes, my Mepha. Mepha? Anyway, since we're already talking about machines, I've got this facial steamer as the next friend to join the party. I've actually tried this out the day I opened it, so in between filming and recording this voiceover, I have tried it. I don't know about you guys, but I clearly have been missing out by not having this be part of my routine before now. I went ahead and put it together off screen, as you can tell, and it was so easy and cute. I just have nothing bad to say. 10 out of 10, get you one. Still on the electronics train, I got a real deal wax warmer for doing my own face because I can't go anywhere to get it done right now. Pray for us high maintenance peeps, we're not doing okay. As for my type of high maintenance, will I be allergic to this? Not according to the ingredients list, but that has never been a guarantee, so I think I'll try it on my legs first. That was it for our Amazon purchases. Let's move on to the big ticket items, and that means Sephora and Morphe. We're gonna go ahead and start with the Sephora box. I'm gonna open this off screen and pull out my order sheet. I genuinely have forgotten at this point what I ordered. I maybe should have actually looked at my order sheet when I opened this, because then maybe I wouldn't have been so surprised at how much was inside my box. But they crammed a lot into that small box, and I'm very impressed. Taking these out one by one, we're starting off with the Holographic Palette by KVD Vegan Beauty. I've been wanting to try this one out for a while now, after I saw it back when I could go into stores. Now, my fairy tale dreams can come true. That's either really cute or terrifying, depending on what kind of fairy tales you read. Plus, embossing, am I right? The next box is NARS Longwear Foundation in Mont Blanc. This is kind of scary because I usually test my colors before I buy, but online that's not an option. So I went for what I vaguely remembered buying last time, and it looks like it worked out. My hands are not normal skin tone right now, so please ignore the obvious shade difference there. They're puffy and red because I'm allergic to the spray they use on cardboard boxes, and I can't find the gloves. I'll be fine. I have what I need on hand, and it will go away. The concealer I got here is also by NARS, and this one just straight up guessed. I mean, at worst, it's basically paperweight, and it'll work good as a base for bright colors. Here we have a sampler of the perfume Princess by Killian. If you don't already know, on Sephora Online, you get to choose your samples, and this looked like fun. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion follows that sampler, and I'm just a sucker for the packaging here. I love when things look like glamorous vampire decor. Plus, I need a good eyeshadow base, and Urban Decay hasn't let me down yet. Farsala Unicorn Essence coming through in the next box. I genuinely feel like a magical princess using this. I don't know if it actually does anything for me personally, but I enjoy it and that's all that matters. Keeping with sparkly magical themes, here we have the High Beam Liquid Highlighter by Benefit up next. And while I have some doubts about its claim to turn me into a supermodel, I do think it will be successful in turning me into the glazed donut of my dreams. Once again, Urban Decay is coming through to save my life with the all-nighter spray and primer. My goal with makeup is to be able to come out of a Category 5 hurricane looking exactly the same. 
I haven't been in a Category 5 for a game, but I have performed, been in a snowstorm, and exploded the contents of a blender on my face while wearing these products and remained intact, so do with that information what you will. Another absolute staple for me is my Too Faced Mascara. This is their Waterproof Better Than Sex in Black. I love this mascara, but the jury's still out on the packaging. I keep thinking it's actually wet and try and wipe it down. That just might be a me problem though. Our next box is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Taupe. With its reputation far preceding me in the makeup world, I don't think I need to explain why I chose this, but effectively, it's the holy grail of fixing my non-existent eyebrows. This is the brow pomade also made by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Taupe. I haven't used this eyebrow pomade before, but I do appreciate a good non-negotiable placement of brows, so I have high hopes. Now this I've been dying to get my hands on. It's the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife. Ever since this was released, I've been frothing at the mouth in amazement. Have you seen it? Have you seen the quality of product? It just makes my soul happy and I want to buy everything. I may not have bought everything, but I did buy two things. The highlighter I just showed you and the Matchsticks Trio in the shade Life. This will be my first cream contour outside of straight up stage makeup, so it'll be fun to switch up my powder routine. My last Sephora box items are an eyeshadow palette sample and a gel lotion sample. The shadow sample is a single color, a beautiful red shade from Natasha Denona's Sunrise palette, which I may now need to purchase, and a confidence gel lotion, which is going to be one of those things that I have to look up how to use, but hey, it's free! When I went to open my Morphe box, I realized that earlier, when I had taken out my packing slip, I had stuffed a couple of random late arriving items into the top of the box. So, surprise surprise, we have some imposters among us. The first imposter is a Real Technique sponge set. I heard good things and I gotta branch out from my OG Beauty Blender every once in a while. The Airspun Translucent Powder is a little bit of a risk purchase as I'm not usually able to use drugstore products due to allergies, but this has gotten so many good reviews and I have a friend who loves it, so I'm willing to give it a shot. I went ahead and sliced the top of this packaging off camera because it was taking too long to open, but I got it open and I was pleasantly surprised to find out they provided little paintbrushes along with this face and body paint by CC Beauty. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok using these paints, so I'm pretty excited to try them out for myself. Unlike my Sephora box, there's actually a lot of bubble wrap inside of my Morphe box, but I did appreciate that all my items seem to have arrived in perfect condition in both cases thus far. I got this Morphe gel liner in the shade Jet to try out. I would say that gel liners are my preferred type as they feel substantial and purposeful when applied and they lend themselves to a really crisp line when done correctly. I went ahead and picked up the black eyeliner pencil as well for smudgy looks or smoky eyes or anything that would lend itself more to a pencil than a gel. I got two of the color liners as well. It's kind of unclear if they're intended only as lip liner or as eyeliner too, but I'm just going to use it wherever I feel like so it's kind of a moot point. Either way, I got this lovely fiery red shade that is called High Maintenance, which speaks to my soul. The other color is a deep kind of navy blue called Extra, and clearly Morphe knows its market because if I wasn't already looking for a red and blue specifically, I might have just bought these for their shade names. The final item in this box I have been trying to get my hands on for longer than I would like to admit. It kept selling out right as I was ready to buy it, and I'm an indecisive person already, so that took me like 800 years to decide on to begin with. Clearly, I did finally get it, and it's the James Charles brush set. I like to have a large range of options when I buy a brush set, so when I've gotten comfortable with it, I can flush it out as needed. But I'm not waiting on having to buy another brush to finish my look. You can really see how many brushes came with this set once they're separated out. And while three brushes needed a little TLC, I'm quite happy with my purchase. Okie dokie, my spectrum of spectators, that was a huge haul. Y'all, I honestly took way longer filming and refilming this than I expected. Only to chop out all my audio and do a voiceover. But you know what? I'm really happy with everything. This was really fun to make and I enjoyed getting to share everything with you. And I get to play with a bunch of new stuff that makes me happy. I really appreciate you guys popping by and getting excited with me. I can't wait to see where this goes. See you soon. Love ya.